we're sitting around 14 to 15 degrees Fahrenheit question may come up what happens if you have a diesel that doesn't have any cold start provisions such as a glow plug or intake heater and you don't have any ether handy what other options do you have this particular engine gives us the ability to do what I like to call an improvised thermal start because its intake is constructed of steel and this allows us to actually get to the point where we can try another technique that most people probably don't bother doing or unaware of and in order to do this we want to remove any elements that could be subjective to damage by adding heat so we'll want to remove that air filter element and try and keep all the pieces in here so we don't lose them we can put them back later and this particular engine we also have a rubber gasket on the bottom we want to get rid of that at this point you could actually use this technique right with the air cleaner housing the way it is because I don't want to damage the paint I actually am using a bearing cap from a trailer it just happens to fit very nicely and in addition it has an area that will hold a liquid level in there put that in there so it's fairly secure and then what we're going to need to do is add a little bit of diesel fuel in that ring and if you don't want to get your hands full of diesel fuel you can use the return line from the from the injector pump and you don't need very much in fact if your engine's been running long enough and the return lines full of diesel you can just bleed a little bit of that off of there you'll be surprised at how little it takes and how long a burn will last just with a few drops of diesel fuel the other thing you're going to need is an ignition source I happen to have a lighter here this is just a butane lighter ideally I'd be able to light this off just directly with a butane lighter but at 12 degrees or whatever we're sitting at somewhere between 12 and 20 degrees Fahrenheit it's just not warm enough to directly light the diesel with the butane lighter and I'll show you that and if you sit here long enough you might be able to get the diesel to go but I learned in my experience that it takes a lot longer than you might have patience for and some of this comes down to the flash point and fire point and auto ignition temperatures of the different fuels while diesel has a lower auto ignition point somewhere around 400 to 450 degrees the flash point is well above 100 degrees Fahrenheit which essentially means you have to get this container or whatever you have up to 100 degrees before the diesel begins to vaporize enough to continue to burn and as you can imagine in these lower temperatures that becomes a problem whereas with gasoline gasoline has a much lower flash point somewhere around 40 to 50 below Fahrenheit 
therefore it allows a ignition to occur at a much lower temperature. Then you might ask yourself, well, why don't you just pour gasoline directly in there and act, have it act like ether? The problem is, although gasoline has a lower flash point, its auto ignition temperature is actually much higher than diesel. And just to throw some numbers out there, ether has a auto ignition temperature of around 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Diesel is around 400 to 450, and then gasoline is somewhere around 500 to 550. What that means is, is until you get the temperature above 500 degrees or 550 degrees for gasoline, it's not, it's not going to continue to burn. And that's why we run into some of these problems with the diesel, trying to get it going at these lower temperatures. So we put enough in there to get a little bit of a burn, and again, you'll be surprised how long that will burn with just a very little amount, I would say a quarter to a half a teaspoon of diesel. And then we want to add a little bit of gasoline. Probably again another half a teaspoon or so, that's all it takes. And depending on the temperature and conditions, you may need to light it a couple different times. We'll go ahead and see where we're at here. I notice we do have a little bit of leakage down into the container here, so we're going to get a little bit of a burn into the holder. And that's one reason you want to make sure that the air cleaner is not plastic because it is subject to the higher temperatures at the flames that we're going to get here. So keep that in mind as you're doing this. All right. And at this point, you, you got a fair amount of time. Let things heat up a little bit. Set your fuel setting to about half speed or so if you haven't done it already. And at 20 degrees, without any additional heat, you're just going to have a really tough time getting this thing to start. Eventually enough pulling may do it. But any sort of heat can really help you out a lot. So let's give this a try and see what happens. <laughs> 